Hello everyone. So we will go to the first step where we will go into the search box and here we will search for turn windows feature on and off. We can get the option in the control panel and in this dialog box search for virtual machine platform. You just make sure that you have to check it that is you need to put it on by putting in the check mark and then windows subsystem for linux very important press ok after clicking ok the machine will automatically go for the restart but if that doesn't occur then you can restart the machine manually and then we go to the next step another prerequisite that we will make sure uh, go to the windows option right click it and go to the task manager and in that option, go to the performance tab and make sure you see to it that virtualization is enabled. If it is not enabled, then I will put some of the videos to do this in the description. Then go to the search box and search for command prompt CMD. And in that case, you need to first write it down. So you are putting in the command that is WSL space hyphen hyphen version enter you will get the windows subsystem for linux version the latest version so it is now ensured that it is been installed and to make sure that it is updated next command is wsl space hyphen hyphen update enter and this will make sure in your system it was if it is not updated then it will get updated in my system it has already been installed so i can update it so we will close this and we will go to the search box we will go to the very important next step now and in search box search especially for microsoft store and in that microsoft store you just click it open and in the search box you need to type in the linux operating system that we are going to install that is ubuntu and make sure that you will type in this particular manner ubuntu or ubuntu and lts and you can see the latest one and click the option get the downloading will start and you just wait for it to download uh, this will automatically happen and it will make sure that the system we are going to install is now there are many distributions ubuntu is one of the famous distribution available and in Windows system, subsystem for Linux, that is the most preferred one. And accordingly, we are downloading it. So it is about to get finished. Okay. Now close this and go to the search option again. And in that search option, especially you type Ubuntu. And as soon as you open it, you will get the, you will be greeted with the windows like this. It will take a few minutes to start it and then you will get the option to enter the new unix username accordingly you type in your username the, the way that you want then while typing in the password make sure that you are typing in because they are kind of an invisible one that's why you won't get any typing uh, uh, indication from the desktop itself but they are getting typed and don't worry you just type in the password so password is up there successfully you will be created with this window the next very important one the first thing that we will make sure is we will type in the command sudo apt update now this will be having a, a very important this will ask for password again uh, you type in the password that you have just made on a, in a step earlier okay i made a mistake again i am putting in the password okay so this has already started to get the packages and it is getting updated you can see this it is getting updated and now in this particular line you type in the next very important to install the gromax what we are doing is sudo apt install gromax don't worry i will give all this in the description below all these commands in the description below and this will ask you to continue type in the capital y so that it will download the necessary files and will start with the installation process and type in the y enter and you can see it has already started with the installation and you will get the idea 
by looking into this window. Uh, this will definitely tell you. You can set. Okay, so this is our window. And to check whether our Chrome X is installed perfectly or not, you just type in GMX, the command GMX, and enter. And you can see it is reflecting that our Chrome X, the application has been installed very well. I will tell you another method where you can check the version of the Chrome X. Type in the GMX command space hyphen hyphen double hyphen and version V E R S I O N and enter and you will be greeted with this particular information where it will reflect the Gromax version and all the other necessary details that we don't want always but let me show you this one this is GPU support now this is the installation that we have done is called as dirty Gromax installation where we are just installing Gromax as it is without the GPU support and if your PC and laptop is having GPU then you can take advantage of that and for that purpose there are other videos and information um, the tutorials I will be linking those in the description below you don't have to worry and this is what so congratulations we have successfully installed the Gromax onto our system bye bye subscribe to my youtube channel the bioway on youtube and press the bell icon so that you will never miss another update from my channel thank you